It's the NFL on EA Sports as we are in the inner harbor of Baltimore at M&T Bank Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Green Bay Packers and the Baltimore Ravens. Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. This is Aaron Jones, and he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And taken down just shy of the 40. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now Rodgers. Pass caught. It's Romeo Dobbs. think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field but if there were he silenced those thoughts there extra point up and good by Crosby and that makes the score seven nothing now after the touchdown here's Crosby to kick it away And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Dobbins. And some space here. There he goes right side. The 20. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. That's a great response. You give up the first score of the game, but you go right down yourselves and get the equalizer. I just had a flashback there. I remember playing in a game like that in college where one of my teammates had said in the media that week, that was a team to be lucky to cross our goal line. They crossed it in the first minute of the game. On our first offensive play, we scored to answer back. Something similar to what we just saw there. Very similar to what we just saw. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Team's had it. Each team has scored. 7 7 here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20.
Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. For the offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Rodgers' throw taken in by Watkins here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped from the 32 now. Here's first and 10. Rodgers with a give. It's Aaron Jones. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Throwing on second down. Rodgers looking left side and he's got a man. That's Watkins. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. They'll try and run for the Jones. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Here's Rodgers to throw. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here in this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. the middle, Jones. And only a couple there as he'll take this up to the 47. Eighth play of the drive, fourth coming, and they need eight yards on third down. Rodgers going to throw. Out of the backfield, this is Aaron Jones. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down carry by Jones going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. On second and nine, Rodgers. He's got Tunyon complete over the middle. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 22-yard line. And inside give to Jones. And this will be a gain of six when it's all said and done. Down to the 15 from the 21. Second down and four. Rodgers. He'll hit Watkins on the crossing route. And the Packers are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Seven-seven. Our score after one. They trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Crosby with the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that 
that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last Jackson hit, and he lost the football. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Always costly to cough up that football. These defenders, they become so... Yeah, it's amazing that there aren't more fumbles caused because now, if you're an offensive player, you go through ball security drills every single day. It's really not out of line to think you should take the ball to bed with you and just hold on to it. <laughs> but the bottom line is, no matter how much you try to protect it, these guys are pretty good at finding ways to knock it out. to Jones and they're knocking on the door now is a good run there going to take this to about the 10 yard line 45 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries when he runs he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole and then when the hole is there he goes quickly you're exactly right he knows how to just take off but you know what else brings a little thump with him doesn't he he does he packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward that's what you want to see out of your backs. Now Jones. Only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They look to reverse that trend on second and goal. The kick by Crosby is good, and they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So the defense are able to force their first turnover of the game, and then they add on to that by getting the field goal. And you don't just want to take the ball away from your opponent, partner. You want to make them hurt as well. And if you don't score yourself on defense, turn it over to your offense and have them put points on the board. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. set at the line for this next drive and last time they coughed it up led to a field goal they're fortunate that it only led to a field goal but still they're not happy about it could you sense the relief though when they only give up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field to start this drive a little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown but they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession the coach will just be relieved though if they recoup with a score here right i think coach would be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield punching the end zone without turning it over Looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Go, 
They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. And he's gonna have to eat this one as down he goes. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. are going to get the football back in excellent field position. now on first and ten. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown Packers. A.J. Dillon with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Packers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Mason Crosby to kick off for Green Bay. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. As this offense gets ready here for this drive, Charles, you, you still wonder about that prior drive. Went for it on fourth down in their own territory, didn't get it, and then that led to a touchdown on the other side. And I don't mind the aggressiveness. In fact, I'm usually a huge fan of it, but I just want teams to always weigh risk and reward. To me, too early in this game because reward just wasn't big enough to go for it there in case they failed. Now the pressure, back on their offense to pick themselves up, and they gave the touchdown that was just given up. Escaping the pressure right. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I think the defense surprised him there with that blitz on first down. But give him credit. Stayed cool under pressure and still found a way through the extra rushers for positive yardage. Well done. 
from the 30 on second down. Jackson flushed out right. And that one's going to be off target and incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Jackson. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And he is such a tough quarterback to defend because you got to remember, arguably, he's more dangerous outside the pocket than he is in it. But how about the job they did defensively to stay with the receiver and knock the ball away? I think they had a sigh of relief there because oftentimes when he gets outside the pocket, big plays result downfield. They'll try and throw for it with Jackson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out, and it'll be a turnover on downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Rogers going to give this one to Dillon. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. They did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Second down, another run for Dillon. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. chance of wasting this great starting field position a real threat this is third and long out of the shotgun it's Jones and he's not going to sniff the first down here he stopped at the 25 now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half So now on fourth down, Rodgers will give way to Mason Crosby for the field goal try. Made his first, this now from 42 yards out. The kick by Crosby is good. So the starting field position was terrific following the surprising turnover on downs, but the end result, only three points. Simply stated, I think you have to look at that as a missed opportunity. After the made field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. I don't think they need to be reminded of the situation here. I mean, the clock is dwindling. Three-score deficit waiting for the... And that's caught inside the 30. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. 
And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. They'll try and run for it with Davis. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Mike Davis in the final seconds of the first half. And the Ravens are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, And that cuts this lead down to 13. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And he goes out of bounds after a solid return to the 45. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. Nine yards on the first down. Keeper in second and one. An option handoff here to Dobbins. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. He has enough for the first down on the keeper. A gain of six. Jackson running again. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop. And it just never materialized. And down he went behind the line of scrimmage. Slings it to Anders, and it's complete. The tight end has it. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. And that'll be complete to Dobbins. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now Jackson on first down. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Another try after the first down sack. Jackson under pressure. They got him again. Kenny Clark able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And the passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. 
Haven't been getting much yardage out of it. And now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. Now after that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. Back to throw here. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Kenny Clark, two plays in a row now that he has gotten in there for the sack, and it brings up fourth down. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Darnell Savage. And the Packersons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed.